Today we're going to make an original drink, the Bitter Stems. For this drink, you're going to need a coupe glass, a graduated double jigger, a bar spoon, a vegetable peeler, a julep strainer, and a mixing glass. This drink uses Singani, Fernet, Sweet Vermouth, and an orange peel for garnish. At a dinner party with some friends, I was asked to make a Negroni with Singani. A Singroni, if you will. Unfortunately, the house I was at didn't have Campari. But being an Argentinian household, they had Fernet. Now, a little Fernet goes a long way. So immediately I knew the equal parts ratio of a Negroni wouldn't fly. I cranked up the Singani, lowered the sweet vermouth and Fernet, and hit it with an orange twist. That was it. And it worked. No tinkering needed. All of the components of this drink are really bold. Each one flexes its muscles and competes for its spot on the podium. But in this ratio, they strike a good balance. The sweet vermouth I'm using, Carpano Antica formula, can be a bit overpowering in some drinks. But in this one, it really sings. The base spirit of this drink is Singani, an eau de vie from the Bolivian Andes that's like a fruity, floral pisco turned up to 11. It's a spirit that Bolivians have been keeping for themselves for the past 500 years. But luckily, brands like Rujero and Singani 63 are helping to bring it to the rest of the world. When I initially made this drink, it was with the Argentinian Fernet, which isn't the same as the one available in the States. The Argentinian version isn't quite as powerfully minty as the US version, and the Argentinian version has more of a bitter bite to it. So making this drink with the US Fernet is a little different. It's still good, it's just not as bitter. If you don't have access to the Argentinian Fernet and want to try to simulate it in this drink, a decent approximation is to split the measurement of Fernet with Chinar, which would be 3 eighths of an ounce of US Fernet and 3 eighths of an ounce of Chinar. That'll amp up the dark bitter flavors and turn down the volume of the mintiness of the US Fernet. But any way you slice it, you'll end up with a good drink. It was originally supposed to be in the neighborhood of a Negroni, but it turned out to be more like a bitter Manhattan. The name of this drink is a nod to both its flavor and its Argentinian roots. It comes from an obscure Argentinian film noir called Los Tajos Amargos, or The Bitter Stems. The expressionistic cinematography was done by Ricardo Yunis, who was trained by the renowned cinematographer Greg Toland. The score was composed by Astor Piazzolla, who was a legend in the tango world. It's an underrated movie, particularly for its genre. It's hard to find, but worth it if you ever have the chance. Plus, it's got all the elements of a quintessential film noir, Power, guilt, ambition, greed, dramatic irony, and a scheme that leads to an open grave. A venal sin that leads to a mortal one. It's the classic film noir moralist portrayal of corruption that starts from the inside, works its way through, and breaks you down until there's nothing left but the bitter stems. Let's start by chilling our glass, fill it with ice and water, and set it aside. Next, we're going to measure an ounce and a half of Singani, add that to the mixing glass. Measure a three quarter ounce of Fernet, add that to the mixing glass. Measure a three quarter ounce of Sweet Vermouth, add that to the mixing glass. Add ice and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice and water from your coupe glass, then strain the contents of your mixing glass into your chilled cocktail glass. Cut a white swath of orange peel, being careful not to cut into the white pith. Express the oils of your orange twist over the drink, rub it along the rim of your glass, and drop it in for garnish. And that's all there is to it. The bitter stems. Salud. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the printed recipe, check out the description below.